Hello everyone, Tim and Gaming here and today I have the pleasure of bringing you another one of my FIFA 14 tutorials. Now today's tutorial is going to be focusing on analysing attacking mistakes. So focusing on several breaks and moves which break down the reasons why they failed and what I would have done differently in order to show you guys some common mistakes people make when attacking in order to hopefully improve your attacking play and get you scoring more goals. So let's move straight on with the tutorial. Now this first clip showcases a mistake that I see a lot of people make. You know, I make this mistake obviously as it's in the video and hundreds and hundreds of people I've seen play FIFA over the years make this very very same mistake. Now this is a really really promising move to start with. Patrice Evra makes a fantastic challenge in the left back position. I pass a move nicely up the field and as you can see as the clip stops right now, perfect timing. I play a nice little one tune. Roberto Soldado receives the ball here. Now, the first thing you notice right away from this still image is look at how many players are around Roberto Soldado. There are three defenders right in his face. Now, I see a lot of people leave me comments saying, how do I deal with high pressure? How do I deal with it? I always struggle with people who put a lot of pressure on the ball. And this is a great mistake right here because it shows you how not to deal with it because what I try and do here is I try to take them all on and this is a mistake you see a lot of people try they try to do too much with one player and you see this in real life with some players you know they perhaps early on in the game they'll skin a couple of people and they'll think well that's going pretty well I'll try and take on seven players next time and it always backfires what you should have done in this situation is while well, there's really two options as you can see in the middle of the screen just a little bit further up the field from Roberto Soldado is a player making a great little run in behind. Now what you could have done instead is dink it over the top and perhaps you would have been through on goal or certainly the move would have been kept going. Alternatively, if you didn't fancy that pass, look at the bottom half of the screen. There is no opposition players there whatsoever. So I could literally prod the ball to the right hand side of the pitch and then my player who's running through would have acres of space. I literally do not have to be accurate with that ball whatsoever. I could just prod it there and my right mid would get there, no problems, and the move would stay alive. But as you can see as I roll a clip through here, what I try and do is try and take a player on. It doesn't work and I end up losing the ball. And this neuters a very, very promising break because there was so much space available, but because I tried to do too much with one player, I lost the ball and the move broke down. So this really highlights a very, very crucial thing to do when you're dealing with players who like to put a lot of pressure on the ball or you're just on a normal counter-attack. Keep that ball moving. Do not dally with the ball with one player. Always try and keep it swift and move the ball on, especially if you see a lot of players converging on the ball because if a lot of players converge on the ball, that means they're leaving space in other areas in the field. And just one or two simple passes here would have kept the move going on and who knows, perhaps I would have even created a great goal scoring chance or even scored a goal from it. Now, this next clip again shows a very, very common mistake you see in FIFA 14. As you can see right here, I win the ball back in the left-hand side of the pitch once again. I play a few nice passes up the field, and as the clip stops in a few seconds, I've got a nice break on, and I have a couple of options. So I can either, as the clip pauses right now, I can either play the ball down the middle to the striker who's making a run towards the centre of the pitch, or I can check it back towards the bottom player who's making a run down the line. Now, what I like to call this mistake is highlight reel syndrome. The pressing desire to play that perfect pass or to play that, you know, 30 yard inch perfect through ball or that 80 yard, you know, lob through ball. You don't need to do this, you know. This is a very, very promising break. What you want to do in this situation with the clip paused right here is pass the ball to the guy at the bottom of the screen, the guy who's in the left wing position right now. And the reason why you want to do this is look at the positions of the players. You've got your opponent's right back who's tracking the run in field, so he's going to be creating more space wide by running out of position. You've got the right midfielder looking inside the pitch. You've got the centre back being drawn towards the ball. You know, everyone here is magnetised to the ball, leaving a huge amount of space on my opponent's right wing to exploit. But because I've got stuck in this highlight reel syndrome, I go for that killer ball too early. I try that threading the needle pass past one player, past another defender, and then into the space. 
And because I try that overly ambitious pass, I end up losing the ball. And you know, you saw that from the clip running through here. A very, very promising break fails, not because of my opponent defending well, but because I'm too over eager to put the chance through. And this is something you really need to be careful of in FIFA, especially, like I mentioned in my dealing with possession players tutorial, when you're up against players who like to keep the ball. Highlight reel syndrome always seems to come in when your opponent has had a lot of the ball. So you've had a huge amount of the game on the back foot. You haven't had much of the ball. You've been waiting for it. You finally win it back and then you think, right, I've got to do something with it immediately. You know, This is the wrong thing to think about. Always go for the simple pass that will keep your move alive. Because if you keep stringing those simple passes together and keep pulling defenders out position, eventually you'll have a nice simple ball which will put a guy through. If you're in this position and go for that Hail Mary pass, you know, that one in a hundred pass, which yeah, looks fantastic when it does does come off but most of the time it won't you'll lose plenty of good opportunities to create chances and this was a really good opportunity there if i had just played that one simple five yard ball i would have got a guy into space advanced him up the wing and then i would have forced the fullback to come to me or i'd have a free cross in and if he did that i could have played a simple ball in behind to the striker and possibly had a shot or then checked it back to midfielder and it would have just opened up a huge amount of options so this again very very common mistake but this little example here shows why it can be so so damaging to your breaks so guys, that's the end of the tutorial. I really hope you've enjoyed it. You know, these are two of the most common mistakes I see on FIFA 14 and you know, they're very very easily rectified as well. As long as you just keep your breaks and your general chance creation as simple as possible, keep the ball moving quickly, don't try and overplay it, and most importantly, do not try those early Hail Mary passes because yeah, it will come off every now and again and it'll look fantastic, but the other 99 times you'll give the ball away and Necessarily and invite pressure so if you just keep the ball moving and keep things simple you'll, you'll have a lot more success on the break and in an attacking in general so guys once again thank you so so much for watching and as always have a great day